On this 4th of July week, celebration and symbols include our bald eagle, national symbol. and the live birds downlisted from endangered to threatened on the endangered species list. Each summer, the non-game biologist flies the Yellowstone River and counts the young, which are close to leaving these huge branch and stick nests. We've got uh, probably 60 or 70 uh, pairs of bald eagles on the Yellowstone and on those uh, tributaries immediately adjacent to the Yellowstone. Pretty good sized for just taking its first flight. Young bald eagles are dark feathered and finally get white heads and tail feathers when they're four years old. Hell, he's flying good. Large old cottonwoods are preferred nest sites. Old may mean weak, which may mean collapse. Bald eagle nest, yeah. Well, the tree just went down. We've got three youngsters on the ground. Uh, they look pretty good. Do you think the youngest is eight weeks, the oldest ten. They're well feathered and probably floated quickly to the ground when the tree went over. The close-up nest shows that they can weigh a ton or more. We start right here with, uh, you said 38 was low. Flath bands the birds. If a band is found later, some age and distance flown data will be found also. Uh -uh. I kid you not one bit, Wayne. Those talons will go in one side of your hand and out the other. Uh, we do wind up with uh, birds on the ground and uh, uh, they do survive. One thing that's really encouraging at this site, both adults are present, uh, they're defensive, and there's evidence that they've been bringing food to the young. Uh, in the last 15 years, we've gone from about, uh, oh, probably 50, 50 to 60 pairs statewide uh, to about 300 pairs statewide today. Bill Pryor, out amongst the centennial year of Montana's Fish, Wildlife, and Parks.